Russian military forces shelled areas around Kyiv, Ukraine, only hours after promising to scale back operations in those areas, according to Ukrainian officials. Earlier this week, Moscow announced plans to dial back its military activity in and around Kyiv, but Ukrainian authorities say the city continues to be battered by artillery assaults, and the Pentagon said less than 20% of the forces have been removed. Soon after Russia's announcement, Ukrainian authorities said Russian forces began bombarding homes, stores, libraries, and other civilian sites in and around Chernihiv and on the outskirts of Kyiv. Meanwhile, a delegation of Ukrainian lawmakers visited Washington Wednesday to push for more U.S. assistance, saying their nation needs more military equipment, more financial help and tougher sanctions against Russia. We need to kick Russian soldiers off our land, and for that we need all, all PO. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky made the case directly to President Joe Biden. If we really are fighting for freedom and in defense of democracy together, then we have a right to demand help in this difficult turning point. Tanks, aircraft, artillery systems. Freedom should be armed no worse than tyranny, Zelensky said in his nightly video address to the nation. Negotiation talks between Ukraine and Russia will resume on Friday by video, the head of the Ukrainian delegation, David Arakamia, said. President Joe Biden is preparing to order the release. Sensing the worst, two weeks before Russia began invading his homeland, tech entrepreneur Volodymyr Vlad Ponchenko wanted to charter a plane for a month to get as many of his employees and their families out of Kyiv, Ukraine, as quickly as possible. But the co-founder of video game and metaverse marketplace market said his board was giving him heavy pushback because his plan to shuttle workers to the Balkan country of Montenegro would lead to a 20% budget increase. None of them supported me. They said I was overreacting, said Ponchenko, who trusted his gut and told them he was executing his contingency plan anyway, regardless of the cost. I told them that I felt a war was coming and we should leave. And if there isn't, we'll spend time in a warm place and still get our work done. 